I do agree there is a problem with integrated sponsors when it comes to them coming to you and say you saying you have to say all this specific shit. If they want you to lie about it, if they want you to like say all this specific shit, don't do that. As a creator, you should have respect for your audience and like realize like, oh, I value them a lot more and I don't want to lie to them. I don't want to trick them into buying this thing that I actually don't believe in. Come on, you got to be like White Sea Studio, dude. Take that. Pro audio companies are lying to you. Okay, let's see. Let's hear them out here. Hopefully I don't instigate any conflicts So, right? So being an audio content creator, there is a ton of free stuff that I've been offered from microphones and interfaces what? to cables, different pairs of really expensive headphones, a nice standing desk, guitar wireless systems, a personal line. Come on, you gotta be like White Sea Studio, dude. Take that. Monitoring systems, more free plugins than you can imagine. And I've been offered money, uh, 800 bucks from an AI vocals generator 300 bucks from an even worse Dang. AI. Um, come on, bro. I know we get it. Vocals generator. $600 from a productivity app. 400 bucks from a file sharing service. 400 from a producer marketing. How long is he going to do this in this video? Toolkit service. 250 from another file sharing service. $100 from a music theory education. All right, guys. Hey, if you're thinking about being a content creator, this is a pretty good advertisement for that. Platform. 300 bucks from BetterHelp, which is the only brand that I'm gonna name in this video because honestly, they can kick rocks, but that's fair, a topic. Fair, Yeah, I've heard they, they provide pretty poor services. Yeah, unlike this guy though, I will say this. I will say this. I pay for my Set of offers, pretty sweet deal, right? But if you watch any of my videos, you may have noticed that there are not any ad placements in them. And I am not showing off my sweet new headphones or my standing desk. And that is for one simple reason, a trend in gear marketing that I have headphones or my standing desk. And that is for one simple reason, a trend in gear marketing that I have a big problem with. And it's called integrations. True. I don't think I don't think integrations are the problem necessarily, though. I think it's the way creators go about it. You know, like for instance, that uh, that video we looked at by Mixbus TV, where he was like overly selling it to people, where he was like, it was like a delay he's clearly never used and is probably never going to use again. And he's like telling people, "This is my new favorite delay plugin. You should buy it today." Something along those lines. It's like, okay, dude, <laughs> you know. Doesn't work. Does Why doesn't this it work? work now? Oh, it does. It's just super. There's like a hell. There's hella delay on it. Hey, seriously, thank you for the ten dollar tip, Osama's and Laden. It works. It's just there's like way too much of a delay on it. Ripple delay. That's what it was. Okay, yeah. Um. So, anyways, yeah, that's my problem with integrated sponsors. If you're gonna do an integrated sponsor and then you're like overly selling it to your audience and you don't even use the thing, that's fucked up. You're fucking lying to your audience. You are taking advantage of their trust in you just for like probably like a couple hundred, maybe a thousand dollars, which that's really bad in my opinion. I don't think there's a problem with integrated sponsor videos as long as you give your real opinion. I think most people, I think you can agree with that. I feel like, I feel like most people should be able to agree with that. I have no problem with ads inside of YouTube videos. I usually watch them when other people have ads in their videos just because it's not worth the effort to go through and skip it. And sometimes you might actually find something useful. So I did a poll on my community tab, which you can see if you subscribe, by the way, asking how y'all feel about ads during YouTube videos. In fairness, Mixbus TV really knows his shit. He really knows how to sell shit he doesn't use. I mean, he does know his shit too. He does know his shit, but he also knows how to sell shit that he doesn't use. Because that that was like a criminal shilling, dude. It was a criminal shilling. I could pull it up if you guys don't believe me. It was in one of the last streams. And honestly, I was surprised how many folks were neutral or positive towards them. Well, the reason why people are like generally supportive of integrated sponsor videos or just sponsorships in general is they know YouTube doesn't pay very much money. They want their, their favorite content creators to continue making content. So if it makes it viable for them, that's why they want to support that. Ripple Delay, Ripple Delay looked great though. It looked okay. I mean, it didn't look like any more special than any other 
any other plugin. Like, but I mean, like just the way, just the words he was saying. I think the difference is not even the, the quality of the plugin, or maybe if it doesn't match up with what they're saying, but the words you use. Weaver's infiltrator, infiltrator shilling has me ready to buy it. The thing about like me shilling infiltrator though is I've never accepted money from them. They've never given me money. They have given prizes for wave wars after I had talked about them positively for quite some time. I genuinely just like that plugin. Honestly, no one has shilled anything harder than Weaver shilled infiltrator. You might be correct. You might be correct about that, but shill is not the correct correct word. And that's because integrations are the hot new thing. And basically, it just means they want you to lie to your audience. Okay, that's that's wrong. That is wrong, dude. That's that's not you don't have to lie in an integration, okay? That's not what uh, first of all, integration does not mean that. Integration means you're integrating the the sponsored product into the video. That doesn't mean you can't give your real opinion on it anymore, okay? There's not fucking... It's not... I already... I gotta... Mm, mm -mm, fuck this guy for this video already. I'm sorry. This is like... This is pandering. ...on their behalf. So typically, in something like a TV show or a film, the ads and the content are segmented out. There's a time slot for ads, and there's a time slot for the show that you're there to see. Now, occasionally, some product placement will slip its way in, and maybe there's an episode where the family takes their kids to Disney World, but otherwise, you know what's what. And YouTube ads... Okay, this is kind of fucking stupid, because if I say in the beginning of the video, this video is sponsored by Masterplan. If I say that, and then I go on to show the product in the video, you know it's a fucking ad. You know that part of it is an ad. Like, it's not fucking, it's not lying or hiding it. I don't know. This guy, this is pretty disingenuous. Or maybe it's like really uh, biased, maybe is a better way to put it. Used to work the same way. You'd get a little, this video is sponsored by XYZ. They're great. Click the link below. To Do you have to say that still? Or you have to have the, like the little, you know, paid product placement. To get your own. You still say that in a great sponsor. And then the rest of the video is what you actually clicked for. But not anymore, because apparently that's not good enough. No, you can still do you can still do those sponsored segments. They have like, I mean, at least the sponsors I talk to, like there's different options. They prefer integrated sponsors because like, you know, it costs them more money, but you know, it's it's a it's a bigger like advertisement for them. There's more time dedicated to the video, like pretty much the entire video is dedicated to it. So like that's why they generally try to go for that. In audio, it's no secret that there's money to be made. People who watch my videos probably want to make money producing, and you've got to have gear to do that. So you're probably willing to buy some stuff here and there. And if I'm showing you how to record something or how to use a certain plugin, there's a chance you might buy the tools that I'm using, since you can see the results and you can decide for yourself if you want to use them too. But do we really think people are getting that misled? I don't think people take YouTubers at face value when it comes to products anymore. Yeah, I mean, yeah, what he's the way he's framing this is really disingenuous in my opinion because it it it's, you have to declare it's a sponsor, you know, and you see them using the product in the video. If you want to say like you don't like it, that's fine, but to say that like YouTubers or content creators are lying by doing that, some of them definitely like shill it to the point where it's like, "Okay, this is disgusting," like and, and they might be lying to you. But you can also be honest in those types of videos too. With integrations, these new ads, the brands want- They're not new ads. This is not a new thing at all. Want us to tell our audience that we are using their tools even though we probably got it in the mail like a week ago. The pitch- You don't have to say that, dude. Maybe this is what they told him. You don't have to say that. Like usually it's like just integrated into the video somehow and you still tell people it's sponsored. This video is kind of pissing me off. Similar. It's something like, Hey, we have this product. If we send it to you, plus 500 bucks, will you make a video telling everyone that they should be using it like you did? Yeah, they don't ask you to do that. Maybe the people you've talked to ask you to do that, but they, they usually like, at least in the con at least in the one that I've done or am doing, they, they just like suggest like a video idea like, oh, you know, compare this to like, uh, you know, a mastering engineer or something. And I was like, okay, I'm going to give my actual opinions on it though. I'm not going to like lie i'm not gonna big up it for any reason like i'm just gonna give my honest opinion but it will be a part of the video and i will say it's sponsored the video should be called something like how i send they don't tell you what to title it either dude who is this guy talking to who is he talked to i need to i need to see i need to see like who this guy is talking to i need to see this guy's emails files to my clients 
and you can show them the features of our file sharing service and how much better it is. And that's not a made up pitch, by the way. It's pretty much word for word. And in these situations, then show it. I'm not saying you're lying, but like, I mean, I, just from the sponsors I've talked to in the past, they don't tell you to fucking lie about it. You know, I'm sure they would like you to. I'm sure they would like you to, but no. I reply pretty much the same way every time. Hey, I don't use this product at all. I've never used it. I haven't even heard of it. What if I make a video about something relevant and then I can do an ad read somewhere in the video? Like say I make a video about being more professional as a producer. And one factor is being quick to send files to your clients. And then I can pivot to an ad running through why. This is still an integrated sponsor, dude. I will say it is a bit debatable whether or not this would still be considered a integrated sponsor. It is integrated, but it is not as integrated as some other sponsors are. Your product may be a good choice for doing that. And you know what their answer is every time? No. You wanna know why I think the answer is no? Hold on a second. The answer is no probably because of his viewership. That's probably why, you know? Cause that's still an, what he's describing is an integrated sponsor video. And I don't know. I don't know. I, if I had to guess, that's probably why they're saying no. Or either that or they just like they want, some of them do probably want you to lie about it, you know? The fact is, I respect y'all too much to waste your time and encourage you to waste your money on gear or software that I wouldn't use myself. And I just wouldn't feel right doing integrations like these when they're literally asking me to lie about how I do my work. Now, I'm not gonna shade anyone else for taking these integrations, honestly, because I get it. If you've built up a channel. I mean, you kind of are. Well, first of all, you're lying about what integrations are. They're all whores except for Av and Weaver. I mean, hey, if you have a problem with integrated sponsors, Av did one for uh, Timu and then shit on uh, White Sea Studio for doing one afterwards, just saying. Based around making content with ads in it, and you're depending on this ad revenue to pay your bills, it is understandable that you would do them because nowadays it's basically a requirement for most of the ad pitches that I'm getting. Now, I don't expect someone who pays their bills with these ads to turn them all down. I'm just in a position where I don't need the money because I'm not counting on it. I can say no because I'll be making the same amount of money, zero bucks, and a lot of others can't say no because they would be making a lot less. Yeah, I mean, I don't have a problem with people doing integrated sponsor videos like how Av did that one. What I do have a problem with is him turning around a few months later and then shitting on White Sea Studio for doing it. That was really fucked up in my opinion. It's like, it's, it's like pure hypocrisy. And honestly, that's why I started selling this producer planner because I realized that this is something I would actually use. I've got one at my desk in the studio and I fill it out every day. And yes, I know this. The funny thing is this is still somewhat an integrated sponsor by doing this producer planner thing. This is kind of, uh, it's kind of ironic here. <laughs> this is a little bit of an advert. The thing is the only difference is it's something that he actually uses, right? And you know, you can still do that with an integrated sponsor. Sounds like an ad now, like, oh, I'm holier than thou for not doing ads, but buy my book instead. But I would make so much more money if I just said yes to the ads and ditch the book altogether. I haven't even recouped the cost of getting the cover art design yet. So this is pretty much the opposite of a get rich quick scheme. If there's a link to it, then it's a sponsor. You think there's not a link to it? You think there's not a link to it? Just saying, just saying. In case I didn't make it clear enough, I do not have a problem with him promoting his book or linking it in the description. Just somebody in the chat was implying that he didn't. You really thought there wasn't going to be a link to it? Are you out of your fucking mind? I mean, no offense. I'm just saying like, you really thought there wasn't going to be a link to it? Like I, I could have predicted that chat. I, I knew there was gonna be a link to something. I mean, no offense like to this guy, but I'm just saying like, I've been doing YouTube for a long time. I know how this shit works, dude. I'm not new around here. The funny thing is I haven't pre-watched this. I didn't look in the description beforehand. I just fucking knew. If you're going to talk about it, you're going to put it there especially when you know it's going to get thousands of uh, thousands of views. Because if you write in the title, pro audio companies are lying to you, that's going to get views, baby. That's going to get views. That's why I put it in the title of mine, because I knew I was going to talk about this video and I knew it would get views if I did that. I'm just saying like there's there's a different there's different. I will say this. OK, I think what he's saying, I do agree there is a problem with integrated sponsors when it comes to them coming to you and say you saying you have to say all this specific shit. If they want you to lie about it, if they want you to like say all this specific shit, don't do that. As a creator, you should have respect for your audience and like realize like, 
oh, I value them a lot more and I don't want to lie to them. I don't want to trick them into buying this thing that I actually don't believe in. That's the difference. That's the difference between like doing it uh, like a real integrated sponsorship and like just lying for cash. It depends on the sponsor. I agree. If it's it depends on the sponsor, I 100% agree. Like that's why I will never take a sponsorship for something I don't like actually like or if I that or that I wouldn't actually use. If I don't respect them, if I don't respect their product, then fuck no, dude. I'll, I'll struggle instead. Sometimes I see these videos where the entire thing is an integration. For the most part, it's kind of what an integration is. Like it can be, it can be like 10% of the video. It could be like 50% of the video, like 90% of it. Uh, I think Mix Plus TVs was the most, um, that was kind of, that was disappointing for me. I mean, not that I didn't have like the highest like echelon of like respect for him, but. In Switch with the title and the thumbnail, that's actually disappointing. I'll give some examples. Like, let's say that. Yeah, let's, let's see some shade. Give me some shade. I want to see it. There's a video called, I tried every microphone to find the one that's the best, right? And then you click on the video and then it's just five microphones from one brand. To me, it's like. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of lame. That's a bait and switch there. You didn't try almost every microphone. You just tried five by the same brand or Maybe there's a video like recreating five incredible snare sounds, right? And instead of actually getting snares and micing them up and, you know, showing education or even making an interesting list or anything, it's just here's five snare presets inside of a drum plugin that happened to sound like famous songs, you know? I mean, this doesn't sound as bad as the other thing, but yeah. Stuff like that. It's like just kind of a bummer. I don't know. It's like I thought I was going to learn something or watch something. I do agree with that. I do agree with that. That is becoming pretty common. Like uh, last stream, what was that video, dude? The the oh that Nathan that Nathan James guy. He was like talking. What was it? Like beats are boring and stuff like that. And all it was was just like a tutorial on how to make like ambient music more interesting. You know, like it was just like oh I thought I was gonna get something completely different out of this videos. Sponsored videos and integrated videos are the same thing. No, so no, they're not. Um, because you can do a sponsored segment where you do like whatever you want in the video. I mean, you can do whatever that you want in the video regardless, but like you can just do like a completely different topic. Like I can do a WNN video and then I get a sponsor from, let's say like Isotope. That's never happening, by the way. Uh, let's say I get a sponsor from Isotope. I could say in the beginning of the video, this video is sponsored by Isotope. And then like maybe like three minutes in, I talk about like Isotope's new product, you know, just for like, you know, 30 seconds to a minute. It has nothing to do with the video. They just pay me like a couple hundred bucks to like throw that in there. It's just like an ad that goes in the video and it has like nothing to do with the rest of the video. That's like a sponsored segment. Then an integrated sponsor video is something like where it's more weaved into the video. Now you're not lying about it. What he's describing, it can be a lie though. It can be a lie. And, um, it's not always like that though. Like there are actual integrated sponsor videos that can be good. Like if it's like a challenge and like, they're like, uh, like, Hey, can you do this with this thing? And then you don't, you tell the truth about it, you know, but like, basically they're, you're paying, they're paying for you to make a video and then you can still retain your own opinions, you know, like if they don't let you retain your own opinions then don't take that fucking sponsorship. Like that's just, that's bad. That's bad faith. That's bad for the audience. It's bad for you because it makes you look bad. I hate the ad segments. I always skip that shiz. I mean, if you like the creator, you should at least watch them. And if you like what they're talking about, then you'll maybe check it out just because like it does help pay the bills. You know, YouTube does not pay a lot. Like 300,000 views a month is only like 1200 bucks. You know, like you have to like get a lot of views just to make like a decent amount of money. That's one reason why people take sponsorships because it, you don't make a lot of money doing this not anymore not after like the adpocalypses which is a fucking funny ass word by the way it's just like like vietnam world war tier shit just got a really long ad i don't know and i know this is like one of the biggest first world problems ever but i'm just curious how you feel about this do you even pay attention to the ads in youtube videos have you bought something from an integration just to find out it sucks? I mean, if that's the case, I'd be mad as shit about that, yeah. As far as I'm concerned, really what I would love is for brands to stop asking us to lie on their behalf. I'm planning on doing one integrated sponsor video. They did not ask me to lie. You know, I'm sure they would love it if I did, but fuck that, dude. I have integrity, okay? I'm gonna say what the fuck I think about it. I'm gonna say like, yeah, this is cool, but like, you know, you could do other things too. You know, it's, it's decent for the money, but there's also these other options. Hey, thank you, DL. Appreciate that, man. Because I'd be willing to do ad reads. I'd be happy to demo gear. I just don't want to have to lie and say that it's been the secret to my success the whole time. So as always, thanks for watching. 
I want to know who the fuck this guy's in contact with because this has never happened to me. But I'm sure like if you start going for like more and more shady emails, if you go start going through those shady emails, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, you're going to get some weird shit like that where they're where they're asking you to do shit. and They're not going to pay you otherwise. So overall, I think he's making a good point overall in this video. But my problem with it is just the framing, because like not all sponsors like are trying to force you to lie. Right. And I'm not trying to just defend sponsorships here because in general, I'd prefer if we didn't have to do that shit at all. I don't know if there's much else to say about it. What do you guys in the chat have to say?